Yo, what's up, Cupid Techie fam? It's your boy Josh back with another Linux tutorial. And today we're moving forward. I mean, literally, we're diving into the move command, a super versatile tool that's all about moving and renaming files and directories in Linux. So whether you're new to Linux or a seasoned user, this command is one you're gonna use all the time. So grab yourself a coffee, sit back, and let's move some knowledge into your head. Y'all like I did that? Let's get to it. All right, so first off, what's the deal with MV? It's short for move, and it's one of those commands you'll see everywhere in Linux. It's essentially a POSIX command, meaning it's Unix-like and it's used across pretty much all Unix, Linux-based systems, similar to the CD command and the LS command. Well, the MV command does two primary things. It moves files and directories from one location to another, and it also renames files and directories. It's like a Swiss army knife for file management simple, effective, and powerful. Now, unlike the CP command, which copies files and leaves the original intact, MV transfers the file entirely. That means no duplicates taking up your precious storage space. So whether you're cleaning up directories, renaming files for better organization, or just rearranging things, MV has your back. And so what is the purpose? You know what I'm saying? Why, why was this command actually created? And also, why should you care about MV? Well, imagine this, you're working on a project and you have files scattered across different directories. Or maybe you've downloaded a piece of software. You know how on the end of it, it'll have all those extra characters. Sometimes it'll have like a re release date and all that extra information within the file name. And let's say you want to rename it to the actual name of the application and that's it. And then the extension, whatever type of compressed file it is like zip or Tor, then that's where MV comes in. You know, it saves you time and keeps your workflow efficient. So no dragging and dropping files around like it's 2005. Hey y'all, Josh here from Keep It Techie. Real quick, let's talk about Rocky Linux. This distro is the real deal if you're looking for a solid enterprise ready Linux solution. It all started after Red Hat dropped CentOS and Gregory Kurtzer, the OG co-founder of CentOS, brought us Rocky Linux as a tribute to his late friend, Rocky McGough. This is community driven, open source software at its finest, and it's already making waves. Rocky Linux 8.10 is out now, giving you that enterprise grade stability without all the Red Hat licensing headaches. So whether you're running a home lab or a full on data center, Rocky's got your back. So if you want to keep it open source and keep your data secure, check out Rocky Linux. The link's down in the description of the video. It's built by the community for the community and it's here to stay. Stay techie, y'all. So let's go through a couple simple examples showing you guys how to use the move command. And first off, like I always do with all these types of command line utilities is I always show you guys the man page. This is where you can get all the information about the application. So when it comes to options and all that good stuff, it's all within the manual. And I'm pretty sure move has a manual. I, like I told you guys in previous videos, some of these utilities, they're so old, they don't even have a manual because it's kind of understood on how to actually use that application. But let's type man and then MV and press enter. And as you can see, it gives you all the information about the application. You got description, synopsis, as well as all the options that are available to you that you can use while running the command. And I'll let you guys read this at your leisure so you can figure it out, but I'll just give you some examples that'll help you start using the move command like a pro. So let's go down and press Q and let's clear the screen and go through some examples. Now let's start off by creating a simple file very fast. So I'm gonna just use a touch file and we're gonna just name it example.txt. So enter. So let's go down and run a ls command. And as you can see, this file is just located in my home directory. And you'll see all my other folders in here that are set up doing the installation of the operating system. So we got desktop, documents, downloads, movies, music, pictures, public templates, and videos. Now let's say we want to move that example.txt into our documents folder. So all you have to do is type mv 
and then example.txt and then specify the location you want to move it to. So we can use the relative path or the full path. It doesn't matter. I'll just put the period and the forward slash that let me know it's a folder within this directory. So let's just type documents and that's the directory we want to put that example.txt in. So let's press enter, boom. And if we ls our home directory, we'll see that example.txt is gone. And now if we ls our documents directory, you'll see that example.txt has been moved there. Simple, right? Nothing really to it. Now, let me show you guys how to rename it if we want to. So let's say, let's go into that documents directory and press enter, let's ls again. And then I'm gonna go back up to the top and ls one more time so you guys can see. So let's say we wanna rename that from example.txt to let's say notes.txt. So we can use the move command and all you have to do is type mv and then example.txt. And then we can also type in our new name and it will name it whatever we we want to name it so we want to name it notes.txt press enter and it's going to use a relative path it knows where we are so it's going to save it in that same location you can specify it you could put the full path whatever but uh, typically a lot of these modern distros it's a whole lot user friendly so you don't have to be as specific you know in a lot of situations so press enter i know back in the day you used to have to like put a full path you know what i'm saying or at least a relative path in order to move certain things around so the system or the application knows exactly where you want to put the file once it's renamed or whatever application you're using so now if we ls our documents directory now we'll see that example.txt is gone and notes.txt is gone and like i said that's an example of renaming using the move command now that is the same exact file and actually let's go into that file and I'm gonna show you guys something right fast. So it's going to notes that press enter and then is notes now. And I'm gonna save that right fast. Boom, I'm gonna save that in that directory. So it's that notes directory. Uh, so hold on, ls again, so notes.txt. Now let's go down and do the opposite. Let's use that move command and let's change it from notes that example.txt again. Just to show you guys that it won't change any of the text within the file, it'll just be changing the name. So let's go and press enter. And then now if we cat out or concatenate the actual example.file and example.txt and press enter, you'll see, see, that's the text I wrote into the file when it was notes.txt. So that just lets you know that you're just renaming the name of the file and it's not affecting any of the data that's within the file. Now let's go down and run it. Changed from example to notes again. I'm just press the up arrow till we get back to it. Press center and then let's ls again. But I'm gonna create a couple more files. So let's go touch and we're gonna create a notes uh, one and then a notes two file and then let's just go down and create a notes three file. That txt and press enter and they'll create all those files for us under our document directory so if we ls you'll see we got notes three two one and actually i didn't name that one correctly so this is a good uh, another example of you know renaming a file so notes three dot txt and we want to change that to notes three dot txt press enter let's ls again or control l again so we can clear the screen and then ls again that way you guys can see all the files so we got notes notes one notes two and notes three now let's say we want to move multiple files and let me quickly show you guys how to do that right fast it's very simple all you have to do is put all the file names and then specify the location you want to move it to the move command will understand that the last location is the place you want to place these files so all you have to do is type mv and then let's type notes that txt then notes one and then notes two and then notes three and i'll show you guys a quicker way of actually doing this so you guys can uh just move all these files but let's specify a location so we can go back to our home directory that's what that tilde means and all we got to do is type uh four slash and let's go in let's put this in our downloads directory Let's move all these files to our downloads directory. So let's go down and press enter. Boom. And if we ls our documents directory, we'll see that it's gone. Let's cd change directories, get back to our home directory, and let's cd to our downloads directory. Press enter. And let's ls dash la this directory so we see all the files and as you can see we got our notes there all our note files right there so notes dot one two three and the regular notes so that's super cool right so let's go down on ls or clear the screen again and ls again so you guys can see but 
Let me show you guys how to move these files a little bit quicker without having to type out each one of the file names, especially when the names are similar. All you got to do is type move. And what I'm gonna do is move them all back to our documents directory. So all we got to do is type note and where it actually stops set. But I'm gonna put a store there and I'll specify that all the files that start with note and no matter what it ends with, it will copy. And let's move it to our documents directory and put the tilde forward slash and then documents press enter and I'll move all those files back over to our documents directory and if we ls downloads again you'll see that all those files are gone and then we can ls our home directory and let's type the tilde forward slash documents our documents directory and you'll see all those files there so you can incorporate those wild cords in there I just wanted to throw that little tidbit in there for anybody else uh, or for just you know extra credit all right now let me show you guys something right fast we're going to use the copy command right fast so I'm gonna go copy and we want to copy uh, the notes file out of our documents directory. And actually, I got a CD right fast to get back home. Let me clear. But let's hit copy. And then in our documents directory, we want to copy that notes. And I'm going to copy just the first one, the notes.txt. And I'm going to copy that file over to our downloads directory and press enter. So we got to copy in two different places. So let's go uh, nano the one in our downloads directory. And I don't know if you guys remember, but in our notes, original notes file, it says, this is the notes. Well, let's go into this one and press enter. This is the notes now. And we're gonna put, this is the notes now as well and put a period at the end of it. And let's go down and save that, close it, boom. So we know that the one under downloads has been updated, all right? And if we cut out, let's just cut out both of them right fast so you guys can know exactly where we are. So documents, and I apologize for that. I didn't, I didn't tab out the file. So let's go documents and then notes.txt concatenate that out and then also let's concatenate this one out as well so our downloads and press enter this is our notes now as well so with the move command by default it will overwrite files in the destination folder without asking you so be very careful with this if you're moving a file name let's say notes.txt into a folder that already has a file with the same name it'll overwrite it and it won't give you any warning. Now you can prompt it, but it won't give you any warning. And I'll show you guys how to prompt it right fast, just for this example. But let's uh, type, let's go down clear. You guys know where the files are. So let's type move. And then under our documents directory or our downloads directory, that's the one we modify and notes.txt. And then we wanna move that into our documents directory. And if it has a file in there, like I said, it will overwrite it without warning. But the way to get it to warn you is to type dash I. I just want to show you guys this option right fast. So if you're worried about it, just put dash I in there. You can also add it to your bash or C. So, you know, when you run the move command, it will, you know, warn you every single time you use the move command and a file name is exactly the same, you know, it'll warn you. But if we press enter, you'll see right there, it says move, overwrite, you know, documents note.txt i'm gonna put no or in center and that will cause it to not write over or overwrite it and i believe it's any other word besides yes you know it won't overwrite so you got some safety precautions by using that dash i in there let's go down and run it again and take that dash i out just to show you guys this is what it will do without any warning so if you press enter boom and if we ls our uh, documents directory you'll see that we had a new file in there and actually i meant to concatenate so let's go back up here to the front concatenate yeah this is notes now as well as you can see it overwrote that one from downloads into the one into documents so hope that makes sense you know what i'm saying if we scroll back up here just show you guys the concatenate again when we first looked at it let's see let's scroll up where was it where did i cat it out at oh here we go so cat that notes so this is notes now that's the one in documents and this is was the one in downloads and as you can see the one in downloads is now the one in documents so it, it, without any warning now that's pretty much it like i said i wanted to show you guys you know a couple different commands i, I threw that one in there with the wild cord and actually let me show you guys another way you could do it because this is an easier way let's say it's a bunch of i don't know jpegs or something or but we're gonna look at them as text files obviously because i got text files in here but let's say it was a bunch of jpegs that you want to just copy out of one directory you can use the move command like this so let's go into our documents directory again and let's type store dot txt all those files in there or text files so this will copy every single text file or move every single text file over to whatever directory we want to move it to so 
we can move it to, I don't know. Let's go under our videos directory and let's move all those files there. So let's go to LS our videos and boom, you'll see all those files there. So just want to, you know, reiterate that one as well with the wild court. So you guys can get some benefit out of this video. All right. And so that wraps up today's video. The move command is one of those Linux essentials. You just can't live without. So whether you're moving files, renaming them, or just getting organized, MV is your go-to tool. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share with anybody that's interested in tech and Linux, and also subscribe to the Keep It Techie channel for more Linux tips and tricks. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it tech. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.